Hello listeners, I am Paul Ogosin Okti, a student from the Department of Human Anatomy from Prince Albert Abu University in Anbar, Kobe State. I'm here to speak on the human heart. Knowing the anatomy of the heart is essential for comprehending its function. So let's go. Starting from here, you will find out that the heart is somehow labeled on the board, but then the size of the heart is about a, a clenched fist and then the heart is located on the left side of the chest that is the thorax having known that we are going to look at the heart from this side this one here is the superior vena cava and beneath it is the inferior vena cava so this one is the chambers of the heart, these four. The heart is divided into four chambers. Starting from here, we have the right atrium, and then beneath the right atrium, we have the right ventricle. So a valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle is known as tricuspid valve. And then between this one also, here we have the right left atrium, and the left ventricle. So the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle is known as bicuspid or mitral valve. Having known that, we are going to look at the walls of the heart. The walls of the heart is as follows. The number one is we have the pericardium. The pericardium is a flu-like substance that hold the heart in space. So what it does is that it avoids the heart from falling from space anytime it's contracting. So the inflammation of this particular wall of the heart is known as pericarditis. Having known that, here we have the endocardium. The endocardium is endo meaning in. And then what it does is that it is the muscles, that is the inner part of the heart. Having known that, we are going to check the last but not the least, which is known as the myocardium, myo, meaning muscles. So these are the muscles of the heart. It helps in contracting, it gives the blood its swift flow to all parts of the body. And then, having known that, we are going to check why is the blood not mixed in the heart. It is because there's a separation between the two chambers of the heart, and this separation is known as the cardiac septum. How does blood get in contact to all the system in the body? Number one, the SVC, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, first drain the blood from all parts of the body into the right atrium. From the right atrium, the blood now get into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. From the right ventricle, blood will now flow to the pulmonary, uh, to, the, uh, to the lungs, and then it flows through the pulmonary valve. And then why the, why the blood get into the lungs is for oxygenation, because all the blood coming into the right atrium is depleted of oxygen. So having entered the lungs, the blood is now rich in oxygen. Then from there, the blood will now enter into the left atrium. So having entry, entered the right, left atrium, the blood will now move into the left ventricle. So from the left ventricle now, the blood will now enter into the aorta. So that's when it will now be circulated to the whole body. Between the heart, the, there are two major circulation. The blood flow from the heart to the upper part of the body and then back to the heart is known as pulmonary circulation. And then the flow from the heart to the part, all part of the body and then back to the heart is known as systemic circulation. So on the aorta, aorta is the largest vessels in the body, vessel in the body. So the aorta has three branches. We have the first one here starting from the left to the right here we have left, left subclavian artery the second one is left 
common carotid artery, and then the third one is brachiocephalic trunk. All right, thanks for listening. I hope you learned from this. See you next time.